All right, so this is our pinball prototype we're making for a class. Um, the team consists of four players. Wow, I suck. Uh, or four designers. It's uh, myself, Matthew Mathis, Paul Korolenko, Brandon Kendall, and Stephen Lawson. Um, basically, we were tasked with creating a pinball machine in a very, very short amount of time um, as a way to learn prototyping. So what we have here is uh, a very basic pinball machine that we've built in Unity using only primitives. Um, what's going on here is uh, currently right now um, I'm playing the game just trying to demonstrate some of the mechanics of it. Um, you can see when the ball goes over those blue squares, uh, those are rollovers and they they color lerp, uh, which means they change color from one color to another um, very quickly to provide the player with visual feedback, which is really important in the game. Um, the main thing that we're trying to do here, though, is just prove the concept that we we can create these mechanics and apply them during our game design uh, later on. So what we had to do to make this work was uh, first of all we decided that we wanted to go with a fully physics based game, a fully physics based pinball machine. So our ball is working with gravity, ha it has mass, uh, the flippers have mass and they interact directly with each other um, when they hit each other. There are issues like right there where the ball goes through the flipper and that's just uh, an issue with the Unity's collision detection. Um, we'll more than likely have that cleaned up in our final version, considering this is just the first rough, rough, very rough version of the game. Um, in order for us to fully f see and realize our plans of having the game be physics-based, uh, we had to make a couple little things that aren't actually very realistic. Um, for instance, while the pinball machine in real life is angled slightly towards the player so that the ball will roll down towards them, our pinball is completely flat. Um, what we ended up having to do was apply gravity in both the Y, which is uh, towards the camera and away from the camera basically, and in the Z, uh, which is towards the bottom of the board and towards the top of the, uh, the playing table board. Um, so basically what, what's happening is that the Y gravity is pulling the ball down onto the board and the Z gravity is pulling the ball down towards the bottom flippers, towards the bottom of the board. Um, this helped us because when we were initially making it, we, we set the board at an angle, uh, but we found that the physics system required the, the board to be at just a, an extreme angle, not like the, the small 15 degrees or so that a regular pinball machine's at. We had to set it at something insane like 70 degrees just to get the ball to roll fast enough. Um, so that's the one thing that's not 100% true, but we are still using gravity calculations and stuff for it, so we can still say that the game is physics-based. Um, uh, an overview of some of the components in there are we have uh, rollovers, which are the, the cubes and the, uh, like the the rectangles in front of the ramp and the uh, squares up between the posts at the top. Uh, speaking of that, we also have posts. Um, the little red square that I just knocked down is a drop target right there. There's another one. Um, again, the ball went through the paddle, man. It's, a, it's frustrating when that happens, but uh, we also have bouncers, which are the blue cylinders, um, and they exert a force on the ball whenever the ball comes in contact with them. Um, and then we have poppers, which are the green flat panels, and the poppers exert an extreme force on the ball in a specific direction. Um, bouncers exert a radial force the blue circles so they don't have a direction they basically just kind of slap it back in the in the direction of the angle of the uh, like it's hard to hard to say if if it hits it in the upper right hand corner it smacks it out up and right uh, but poppers have a direction they, they always pop them in the same direction um, each time which are the green things uh, the flippers themselves are actually hinged objects which was one something that was interesting because the programming was actually almost impossible for us to get it to just uh, use a rotation or a, a lerp on it. Um, we actually had to hinge these squares and then we smack them behind with an invisible force, a mass force, and that pushes the uh, flipper forward and then the flipper isn't able to interact with the ball at that point. Um, that's really all there is to say about it. Uh, thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it. Check back for more updates later on. Um, the game will definitely get more polished and uh, I'll probably have something up on my site, zerofactiongames.com, very soon that you can play and test play the game yourself. So, thanks. Bye.